Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. This is the first review I'm filming, maybe not the first one I'm uploading, but the first one I'm filming of my mini Pacific Rim Uprising figures. The Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger from Diamond Select Toys. Yeah, I'll also be doing all of the robot spirits, so you know, stay tuned for all the robot spirits. And I'll be doing as many Diamond Selects as I can afford. Right now this is the only one I have. But I mean, hey, you know, you do what you gotta do. You do what you gotta do. I got I got insurance payments. I got I got cell phone payments just like everybody else. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. The uh, Diamond Select Gypsy Avenger. Mine has kind of a standing problem. He's got some weak knees. I don't think that's Diamond's fault. I actually think that's my fault because I left him in a hot car, so now he's all wobbly. Uh, I think that's my doing. So, MB MB. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty cool figure. First thing I want to say is if you. Um, collected the original Pacific Rim stuff from NECA and you want your Pacific Rim Uprising stuff to be in around the same scale then you're gonna want to get the Diamond Selects because the Robot Spirits are gonna be way too small for you uh, but these guys still come with a lot of accessories if you get them from um, your local comic shop that's where I got mine and they're saving the other two in this wave for me so when I can afford them luckily I know the owner <laughs> hook me up hook me up comics plus I'll, I shouted you out. Give me free stuff. <laughs> Shout out Comics Plus to making. Give me free stuff. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a really cool figure. Let's zoom out. You see, it's actually quite large, uh, as you can clearly see here. Uh, very cool figure. We're going to do some articulation, a little up and down action on the head. Uh, plenty of side to side, and he can kind of wobble a little, which is nice. The shoulders move all around so that you can... Get the arm, which is on a, <clears throat> which is on a ball <laughs> There go my books. A whole bunch of books just fell over. Oh, oh, jeez, Rick. Uh, but yeah, you know the arm can move all around like that. You know, I'm not as worried about the frailty of these as I am of NECA. I have a lot of Diamond Select toys from Marvel, and uh, they all hold up really well. So I'm not super concerned about him breaking on me which is nice um but yeah you know he's got a elbow bend the wrists rotate and rotate forward and back like this however if you put on the interchangeable arms which you'll see later for all the weapons the wrists don't go forward and back on the chain sword and they don't go forward and back on the obsidian tech i just wanted to say that while i'm thinking about it so they only go forward and back on the single hands uh but yeah you know you can move him all around Right here, he's actually quite poseable. More poseable than the neck is where I wish Diamond would have just done him for the first movie, honestly. Except if Diamond did him for the first movie, he wouldn't have got as many kaiju as NECA gave us. So, you know, I'm still thankful for the NECA line. Because uh, we got a bunch of kaiju, and Diamond is, doesn't look like they'll be pumping out anytime soon. But yeah, on the legs, you got in and out, forward and back. You got a double knee bend, real nice. Uh, you got up and down on the foot, a little ankle pivot action side to side. I mean, he's quite poseable, you know? You get him in a nice, hey, I'm going to grapple with a monster pose. See? Yeah, that's a bad pose, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just doing it on the fly, man. It ain't like I'm doing ACBA here, fam. Uh, but, yeah, you know, he's he's really cool. Detail and paint's quite good. The paint is actually quite excellent. It's got a nice wash all over it, so it looks like it's been scraped up a bit in battle and whatnot. He's got peckles in the bottom of the feet to help him stand if if you need to. Um, I love the paint on that reactor. Looks real nice. Lots of color variants in there, actually. So he's quite good looking. Quite a good looking figure. I'm actually really glad I bought this. 25 bucks. Uh, yeah, if I mean for the size and everything you get with him, uh, 25 is totally worth it. Uh, actually, now we're going to get into accessories because he has so, so, so many. So, so, so many. Um, I'm just going to show you the accessories. I'm not going to show them all on him, but I am going to show some on him. Uh, we get one chainsword. I believe he only used one chainsword in the movie, so I think one is accurate. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. I only saw it in theaters, and I don't have the Blu-ray, because at the time I'm recording this, the Blu-ray ain't out. I'm recording this, like, right after this guy was released. So, yeah, it's got a very nice chain sword. It doesn't feel very fragile or anything. Uh, I actually like that it's a full interchangeable forearm, instead of just plugging this in, because if you plugged this in, it would be knocked out real easily, and it would be more fragile. But this way, it's a lot sturdier. Uh, and it still retains the articulation on the elbow there. But as I said, it does not retain the articulation 
in the, in the wrist. Uh, we also get the gravity sling. I believe it would be more accurate if it had like a bunch of blue energy in it, but uh, I'm not super concerned about that, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, here's the gravity sling, same thing, you know, with the articulation, real nice. Uh, and then we also get the plasma blaster, also really cool. Boop. And uh, then we also get some just regular interchangeable hands. These do have the wrist articulation, just fist hands for punching. If you like fisting, this is the figure for you. Butt fisting. Uh, and then we have some more cool accessories. He actually comes with the Obsidian Tech. Uh, I'm really glad he came with the Obsidian Tech because this is what I want to display him with. Um, the Robot Spirits that I have does not come with the Obsidian Tech. So that's cool. I mean, they should kind of be on fire around the edges, but I actually like them like this too. So these are what I'll be displaying him with uh, shortly. Here's our Gypsy Avenger with some other... Uh, Kaiju Fighters. Uh, here on the left, one of the NECA Pacific Rim figures I was talking about earlier. The Wave 2 Battle Damage Gypsy Danger. Uh, as you can see, he kind of towers over the Gypsy Danger, but it's still a better comparison than the Robot Spirits, so I hear. I actually haven't opened my Robot Spirits yet. Um, but yeah, so that's how he's going to look with the NECAs. I mean, they're technically the same scale, I believe, but I actually like that he's bigger. I quite like that, actually. <laughs> I'm glad these specific room figures they decided to go with bulk. Whew. Can't wait to see how big the kaiju is when it comes out in August of 2018. I'm recording this in April. so. And then on the right, in Ultra Act, the Ultra Act Ultra Father. Uh, also, you know, kind of under the Jaeger, but it's fine. It's not designed to go with other Ultraman figures. Here's of some Pacific Rim kaiju. Here on the left, we have Trespasser, who I believe appeared in both films. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, Trespasser is from NECA, so that's that. And then here on the right, we have the Sophie Spirits Raijin. I believe that's how his name is pronounced, Raijin. Uh, also pretty cool. I really like the Sophie Spirits line. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting domestic uh, U.S. releases for the other two, because I know there'll be exclusives in Japan. But I'm hoping we get them, because I really like this guy, like, a lot. Um... But yeah, that's how he looks at these kaiju. Once again, towering over them. Uh, so we're going to have to see how he compares with the Diamond kaiju when at least one of them is released. I heard Diamond was making one of these guys. Uh, but now I can't find any information about that. So I don't know what's up. I know they're making the Hakura or whatever the fucking tunneling one was that had multiple legs. But yeah, that's how he looks with the kaiju lines that we have right now for Pacific Rim. Now, you can't do a giant monster review, even though he's not a giant monster. He's from a giant monster franchise. But you can't do a giant monster review without Godzilla figures. Here on the left, we have the Bandai Creations 2004 Gigan. And on the right, the Atomic Blast version of the NECA 2001 Godzilla. And lastly, here he's with a bit more Ultraman stuff. Just wanted to show a few more Ultraman things. Here on the left, an Ultraman monster. The Ultra Monster series EX Bogal. One of my faves. Uh, really cool monster, really cool toy. And then here on the right, just to show them with Spark Doll sized Ultraman stuff, since they make a lot of Ultraman stuff in this scale now, the Ultra Hero 500 series Ultraman Ace. So, what are my final thoughts on the Diamond Select Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger figure? It's pretty cool. It's quite big. I don't really have a lot of monsters that scale with it. I have a few here and there, but most of my kaiju are too small for this guy, which is pretty crazy. So uh, I can't wait for that big kaiju to come out. Hopefully I can afford it by then. Because if it came out right now, I wouldn't be able to afford it. Uh, you know, car payments and shit. But, um, yeah, I mean, that is... This is a pretty cool guy. It's a really cool figure. I'm glad he comes with the Obsidian tech. Because that's how I really wanted a Gypsy Avenger with Obsidian tech. So I'm very, very glad that one exists for me to use. Uh, there's also a model kit you can get. You can get the Robot Spirits. Uh, there are a few options for Gypsy Avenger. Uh, unlike there were for the first movie where you had to get NECA and NECA was the only choice. I probably still would have bought NECA, but NECA was the only choice. Now we have several choices, which is really cool. I can't wait for more of these. I'm definitely getting the drone when it comes out in Wave 3. 
And I'm just really excited to have this figure in my collection. He's really, really cool. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll be seeing you all later.